Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video, y'all. It is Friday. It is Friday night, y'all. Let me get my phone out of the way. I'm not going to cook with my phone. Um, you know what that means? These are pie cake. I've been on the cake trip. I threw a pie in there a couple of times, so we're back on the cake trip. So that's what I'm making tonight. But one thing about this cake, as you see by the title, this is the most requested cake by all my family, friends, co-workers, when they ask me to make a cake, this is the one I make. This is the one they love. This cake is awesome. And I'm gonna show you why it's so good near the end of the video when I finish completing it. But old school pineapple cake. This is not a clown cake, this is a regular vanilla cake with pineapple icing on it. And they both combine together while they warm. That's what makes this cake pop off. You can eat awesome cold and it's awesome hot. It's better to me cold after all that icing and soaked into this cake. It's awesome. But let me tell you, growing up, you couldn't go to a funeral, a family reunion, any kind of church function with one of these. You don't see these cakes in the store. This is just old school pineapple cake. People just don't make them anymore. And my mama loves it. This is my grandmother loved it. This is one of her favorite cakes, and I'm sharing it with y'all. I've never shared this video. I've shared the glaze with y'all, but I've never did the cake. I went back and looked through my video, and all it is is the glaze. One time I did the video for the cake, and I didn't have the camera on. So anyway, let's get started. You know where it starts with butter and sugar cream. And I had a comment one time from a, a lady. It's her kid. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Remind her mama. Ask her, did you take the butter and, and eggs out to get room temperature? I also had a lady uh, other night come in and say, yeah, she took her butter and eggs out for room temperature and then she's going back to sleep. That's amazing that y'all actually listening. A lot of people don't like to hear me talk, but I'm trying to tell you things, why I do things. I don't just come in the kitchen and cook, just throw stuff together. Sometimes I do. Most times there's a reason why I put things in. That's why you don't see me using a lot of spices on my food you don't take all that food has flavor you just want to enhance the flavor especially with meat so anyway let's get started cream the butter and sugar 10 minutes on high until they get light and fluffy y'all seen this y'all seen this show before that's the main thing in making a cake so i'm gonna step off 10 minutes let this mixer go high i'm gonna scrape the bowl down every minute or so make sure everything's fully incorporated and then we'll be back when it's time to add the eggs we will be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. This is what you want. See how light and fluffy this is? You feel no granules in the in the cake. Look at that. See how nice and fluffy this is? That's what you want to create. That's why I say cream the butter and sugar for 10 minutes. That's the most important part of your cake. If you want a nice, light, fluffy cake, moist, that will just wow your friends and relatives and co-workers or whatever, it's the key. I say this every time I make a cake, some people might not hear, some people might be new to the channel. That's what's that's the most important part of your cake right there. Now, room temperature, of course. Make sure your butter's room temperature and the eggs that I'm supposed to add to this, make sure they room temperature. So you don't want to add cold eggs to your mixture. That would defeat the purpose of having the room temperature butter. Let's 
dry. Me and I'm gonna add my flour and my uh, milk to this. I start with dry and add, start with dry and end with dry. Reason is, so I can control how much, how much I whip this. Very important that you don't over mix it and create a lot of gluten. So, why not add a little pineapple juice to that, right? Okay, add the rest of my flour. Take this down one more time. The dough gonna look like it separate once you add the pineapple juice. So don't worry, y'all. That's just that acid working with that baking powder. That's it. Simple as it goes, y'all. Like I say, y'all, don't don't get uh scared when you see that it look like it's kind of separated the batter. That's just the reaction of the pineapple juice and the baking powder reacting against each other. They don't like each other. So they reacting against each other. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I got my two, uh, it's a 10 inch, 10 inch top pan, you can use eight inch. I'm gonna just kind of separate the two here. You can measure this if you want to, but I just eye it. I just kind of eye it. And I'm going to put it in the oven, 350 degree oven, for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm definitely going to check it after 25 minutes, y'all. Y'all know I check it early. Most time, I never set a timer on my cakes. When I smell the cake, really, really smell it, that means the cake is almost ready. I've always done that. I think as I get a little older, I'm going to have to start putting a timer. Now I'm going to have a lot of burn-up cakes. So, anyway, I'll be right back in just a second because we have to, I can't go uptown, upstairs and take a shower yet because I got to get this icing done before, because this cake cooks quickly. So, I have very little room for error here. So, as soon as this cake goes in the oven, I'm going to come back, I'm going to clean up a little. We're going to come back, we're going to make the, the pineapple icing for this because they both need to be warm. When this cake come out of the oven, the icing need to be ready. But you're going to pour it on the cake warm. That's why I told you. That's what's going to make this cake pop. So anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. Okay, we're going to get this icing going. All I'm using, it's very simple, y'all. And people say, what kind of can? Of, it's a 20-ounce. See this? 20-ounce can. Large can. When I say large can, it's 20-ounce can. A pineapple. A, a crushed pineapple. I'm going to put the rest of that pineapple juice that I had left over from the cake. Hold that in there. Can't hurt it, right? Four ounce of butter. A lot of butter. Sugar. We're going to turn this on. Very simple recipe, y'all. A little vanilla on there. That's it. We're going to bring this to a ball. When it comes to a ball, we're going to put some cornstarch and thicken it up. That's it. Very simple, y'all. Very, very, very simple. So let me get my, uh, that's the hand, move this around. Now, one thing I have learned over the years doing this, all pineapples not created equal. Sometimes you have to put more sugar in there because the pineapple come out of the can is more bitter than others. All pineapple not created equal. I found that out the hard way. 
So anyway, y'all, when this comes to a boil, I'll be right back. Once this comes to a boil, we're going to tighten it up with a, I'm going to make a slurry. Y'all know a slurry is uh, put some water with the cornstarch and pour it in there. Got my cornstarch right here. Pour it in some water, make a slurry, put it in there, tighten it up, and that's ready. Because it's very important that you have your icing ready when the cake is ready. Because the cake got to cool down maybe 10 minutes. That's most you want to cool it down because you want to combine them both. And they, they are infatuated with each other. When you put them together, you have a creation. You'll see once I finish this cake. I've been doing this cake for so many years, and I can do it in my sleep. Like I said, I had a co-worker of mine. He's not my co-worker anymore, but for like 10 years, every year on his daughter's birthday, he requested it. She requested it because she tasted it one time. So every year on her, on her birthday, he asked me, could I do a cake for him for, her, for his daughter's birthday? So, yeah, it's very, all my cousins, when I go to churches and functions in the country, can you bring a pineapple cake? Can you bring, oh, yeah, I can bring that. That's easy. So anyway, we'll be back once this comes to a ball. We'll tight, thicken it up, and we'll go into the next step. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, you see this boiling? That's what you want. You want it to be boiling just like that. Now, I got my cornstarch over here. See it right here? Made a slurry. You're going to slowly pour this in here. Now, you want to pour it all at one time. You want to kind of get an idea how thick this is getting. Like I say, all pineapple is not created equal. You don't want this too thick, and you don't want it too thin. Like, let me turn this down. I just turn it down. And that's as thick as I want it right there, y'all. Make a mess here on my stove. This stuff definitely will stick to you. Turn it down. And that's how thick I want it. That's all I want right there. See that? Let me show y'all. Let me turn this off. Put this back in here. See? That's as thick as I want it. Because, of course, you know as it cools down, it's going to get thicker. But that's all I want right there. That's perfect. That's the glaze I want right there. And you'll see how it just flows on that cake easy. So that part of the cake is done. Now... I got about 15 more minutes on my other cake there. So uh, maybe 20, I think I got 20 more. Yeah, I got 20 more minutes on my cake before it's done. So I have time to go and take a shower, y'all. Come back and bring this cake together. I'm still in my uniform. I never, usually when I put the cake in the oven, normally time, I'll go uh, take a shower, but I'm on my way now. Cake is in the oven, just checked it, just peeked at it, which you shouldn't never peek at the cake, but I got about 15 more minutes. No, I got 20. I'm looking at I got 19 minutes. So I'll be back, y'all, when the cake's out of the oven, and then we'll go to the next step. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. I just took them out the oven here. And what it is, I'm gonna let them sit here about 10 minutes, y'all, in the pan. Then I'm gonna flip them out, and then we're gonna put that warm icing on the warm cake. So yeah. I think this one has a little bit more batter. Ooh, they hot. Batter in it. So I'm going to use this one as the bottom one. And that one I use as the top layer. But I'll show y'all here when I get right back. So, like I said, I'll be back in about 10 minutes. We'll put this cake together. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Like I said, I think this is the smallest one. So I'm going to flip this one out here. There we go. Like that one flipped out. Now, what I'm going to do here, while this icing is still pretty warm, I put the icing on there like that. This is the key here, y'all. Get that icing really, you want that middle layer. You have a lot of pineapple in it. That's what I like. Middle layer have a lot of pineapple in the middle. You want just as much in the middle as you want on top. What I like to have. I can feel that middle layer up. There we go. Give that a little go over the edge if you want. Now, now I like to do the other side inverted up. So what I do, remember this cake is hot, y'all. Take it like this. 
You just flip it right on there, just like that. Now, we're going to go with the icing, just like we did the other one. Right on top, just like this, y'all. Just let it, don't put too much at one time. It's going to let gravity do its thing, y'all. And later we'll go on the sides and do it on the side. And it's going to be messy at first, but we're going to come back and do it on the sides here as it goes over. Now I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. Okay, now. Now what I like to do, get a nice knife, butter knife. Oh, you can get my, let me get my, uh, let me see here, I got a, hold on just a second, y'all. Right here. Give it one second, y'all, be right back. All right, y'all, sorry about that. I was looking for this. I forgot where I put it. A little uh, inverted uh, offset spatula. It does wonders for this kind of cake, y'all. What I like to do, just take the icing and go back up. So you're going to kind of slide off, don't you? You don't want to slide off with that icing. I got a little bit more to put on this side over here, y'all. Like I said, it's going to get messy for a while. And as it's cool, you can keep doing this. And it'll stay on there, y'all. But right now, it's going gonna, gonna to try to run all over the place. But what I do, I just go just go right back up just like that. Go up. There we go. Just like that, y'all. A little bit more on this side. And like I said, as this cools, and you'll see later on as it cools, I'm going to come back and give it one more, one more go around on the icing. Make sure it's all on there. But right now, it's doing what I want it to do because all that good icing is soaking in this cake, y'all. And you see all that good icing in the middle. It looks messy right now, but once the icing stops flowing and it starts to cool off, you can do it like this. And it, uh, be completely nice. So anyway, I'm gonna step off y'all for a couple of minutes, finish doing this. We'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. And I'm gonna let it set up about an hour before I cut it. I'm gonna let them juices really cake really absorb all that juices of the icing. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Let me give you a close-up of this beautiful moist cake here. Look at that. Look at that cake, and that icing, uh, I'd set it on the side, of course the icing gonna run off because it's still warm. Let me show you something here. Look how moist this cake is, y'all. Put a little icing on there. Put a little icing on the side, look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling y'all, look at that. Mm. Cake is warm, moist. Can't get no better than this, y'all. This is the cake. All my friends, relatives, co-workers request. This is my most requested cake right here. If you come over to my house, that's how to be sitting. It's like that. Get you a piece of pineapple cake. Grab your fork and a spoon and a plate and help yourself. But anyway, another Friday night cake in the books, y'all. And this is probably one of the easiest cakes you ever make here. So let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share it. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag, uh, 2021 Old School Soul Food. Uh, until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. Look at this, y'all. I think I'll take this lid off for a while. 
so it don't sweat because the cake is still warm. I was just noticing that. But anyway, until the next time, y'all, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a nice weekend. Love y'all. Bye.